any any country that has a centralized bank is in control. No, that's like one percent to the other. Yeah, and that's your centrally planned economy creating itself to fail once again. Yeah, that's well, and different economic models and different governmental models, minus corruption, have a chance to succeed. But we have such a culture of corruption. Yes, I do. Um, one of the main things is the dollar bill is no longer gold note or silver note. You can take that IOU into any bank and ask them for your real money. It's going to probably have you escorted out by security. A long time while back, you can have a gold note and silver note. You take that bill into any bank and they'll actually give you a hunk of gold or a hunk of silver. The value of your money. Okay, the dollar bill is worthless. We're gonna be moving over. It has no monetary value at all. It's all it's over C. It's what they say it's I'm gonna, for. I'm gonna change the name. And every time they print a dollar bill out, it. they put us in more debt. That's going on. It's almost like I like it to like they they don't have any more ink, so they gotta take a little ink out of your dollar to make another one. And basically you just got a sheet of paper at some point. You know, so Awesome guys. Well, uh, and are you? Do you have a particular group or, or a blog or a website or anything? OccupyTogether.org. OccupyTogether.org. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're working on getting uh, OccupySATX.up for for the movement out here. Good. We'll link to it from our, our site too. All right, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for the. So pro Republican and the fight against each other when these guys over here are the ones that you're supporting. It's like rest, watching a wrestling match. And being for like Hulk Hogan like all it's fake. This is Kingsley. I don't know if I'm Kingsley. Why? Who's following you? Nice. Yeah, we are oh, welcome to get old San Antonio. Alright, so what's been going on here today? An uh, update? Cool. Yeah, what's give me talk? an update. I'm Matthew Jose. Hello? Hello? Okay, cool. Matthew? Emily. Emily might be jumping. Uh, what do you want to update? Yeah, give me an update. Okay. I'm filming. Alright, you're, you're gonna cut it though when it runs for five minutes. You can use the no. cyclist for your wall. It's rolling. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. Uh, this is Matthew Medina with We Are Change San Antonio, Truth Exposed Radio, New World Activist, here at the Occupy San Antonio. Uh, this is day one. Uh, it's been an awesome day. You know, it started today, October 6th, 6 a.m. I got out here around noon, right before the March to the Alamo. We marched to the Alamo, marched to the Federal Reserve, marched around the Federal Reserve. You know, it was, it was well over, I heard the, the highest the highest amount of people we had at one point was 230 people, which is really good for day one in San Antonio where it's a military city, tons of bases, and people really come Complacent, like it's uh, you know, this really just a sense of, of being comfortable with what we have. Well, why why should the people in the military not be complacent? They have a job and they get paid to kill people. Not all of them. There are good people, and don't get me wrong. But I, I guess my, my reason is that right, but that they're complacent because yeah, yeah, they have yeah. a job. It's a and shitty economy. They have a job. Things are changing, like today. And there's six wars going yes. on, so they've got you know perpetual employment. But they are humans and have hearts and minds. Things for their own, like the officers that were out today, which were great, that we kept speaking with along the march, saying they totally support us. Today we found out the city council supports us, Park, San Antonio Park and Recreation support us, and SAPD Park Police to camp out in Hemisphere Park as our, as our permanent base for the, for the foreseeable future of Occupy San Antonio. We got some cool uh, um, ideals written out. And, and what are the goals of Occupy San Antonio? Are they different than the goals of Occupy Wall Street? Because I know it started out as a solidarity you know, movement. I, I don't want to say it wrong. I am with the media team, and we have it written down. So I would say, let me get back to you on that. I have it written down. I don't want to mess up because if you put this on YouTube, everybody's going to be like, see, that guy said this. All right. Come. We wanted to know our ideals and demands as Occupy San Antonio as being a representative of the media team. What we have here um, are our ideals and how we stand. And another fellow member of the oh, media, media, Occupy San Antonio Media. So I'm just reading our ideals and demands and um, we stand in solidarity with the people rising up to the end, to end the corruption of Wall Street. We stand against the immoral, excessive, and unfair influence that corporations have over our governmental process. Occupy San Antonio is a nonviolent movement that we hope will bring San Antonians together for a more just future for all. And it's something that can unite and really transcends political beliefs, ideologies, religious beliefs. This is something much more than that. It's just much more uh, uh, internal. And, and that sounds much broader than the Occupy Wall Street demands, yes. which 
where we want $20 an hour guaranteed minimum wage whether we have a job or not. What is Occupy San Antonio's thought on that? Well, I can't answer for the whole movement. I'm only, uh, I, we'd have to vote on it. But like, as far as, I mean, well, my opinion on that or? Based on what you guys have written down well, there. that fit in with this? You guys would not be supportive of guaranteed $20 an hour minimum wage regardless of employment. Well, that sounds like a union deal. But yeah, I think what that more is playing into is the fact that if the minimum rate wage rose the same amount that CEO bailouts rose, then minimum wage would be at $31. So I believe they're more stating that if they're getting, you know, such huge bailouts, we should be making that kind of money. And if you don't want us to, things should be brought back to reality. Okay, quality. but what about... It's going $20 an hour, we'll be near it. Yeah, and that's what we want. We but, get well, what about it being ethically immoral for the government to force yeah. wages upon people? That, shouldn't that be contract between yeah, employer and yeah, employee? Should the Reserve. We should end all manipulation of markets and money. Okay, but but you said in manipulation of markets. That's not what the Wall Street people want. I get, I, I'm with you on that. I get that back. They're, they're basically saying we want more government and we want it our way. Well, that's, the, that's the awesome thing about the Occupy San Antonio is that we're keeping it open to all people, all beliefs, and we take votes on everything. It's, it's, it's a democratic process. And, and how does one vote? And how you have to be involved. You have to be here. Yes, be, be here right at the general now. Assembly. We're about to have a general assembly right now to officially. So it's fair. I mean, whoever's here sharing ideas, man, you need to be here. Be a part of this. We're making future history. We got to stand against it. Tyranny, and this is one way out of love and peace and unity. It's something beautiful.